So guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, guys, we're gonna be going through two secrets to $10,000 per month with your agency and more specifically with your e-commerce social media marketing agency. As always guys, just before we jump into the video, make sure you go ahead, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm posting every other day on the channel and also it massively, massively helps out with the YouTube algorithm. But as I say, two things that really honestly helped me to get to 10K and beyond. Um, most of you guys know I'm teetering around 20,000 per month through my agency right now, going through more of a maintenance period, actually like literally just about to step into a ridiculous scaling phase with my agency. Um, but as I said, right now I'm at around 20,000 per month with my e-commerce Esma mate, and there's two things that really have stood out to me that have just been really blaringly obvious that you must implement or you must at least try to implement in order to really see any sort of success with e-commerce. This is all very e-commerce based, by the way, guys. Um, as I say, to see success, I'm really, it's just gonna massively, massively help scale you to 10,000 per month with your SMMA. So let's get into it. First things first, this is actually a topic I haven't actually touched on that much on this channel, but it's to be confident in your meetings. Okay, so once you've generated meetings, you know, everybody, everybody always focuses on how to generate meetings. And obviously, I mean, that is the first part. If you don't have any meetings, then you you can't be confident on meetings because you don't have any. So obviously that's the first part and it's a, a really, really big part. And obviously there's so many um, videos on my channel talking about that. And also if you're in the program, you guys know you've got the best outreach methods for Ecom SMMA. However, something that I've never really touched on as I mentioned before is that once you've got meetings, you know, how do you conduct yourself on the meetings? Because again, we go through sales, but how do you actually conduct yourself? How do you position yourself to come across in the best possible manner? Well, the best way to do that, you know, the best way to come across in the best possible manner to the client on the other end, because how they perceive you is gonna have a massive effect on whether they move forward with you. So as I say, the best way to have a positive impact is to be confident. Because if you're not confident, then they're gonna sense that First things first, they're gonna sense it. And if you're not gone, if you're not confident, they're gonna question themselves as to why you're not confident. Even if this is the problem or if it isn't, right? You may have the best service in the world, but if you're not confident, they're gonna question themselves, why is this person not confident? What have they got to hide? Because you've got to understand, if you do have the best service in the world and you truly know that, then for the most part, you're gonna be confident, right? Because you know, like if they sign up with me, I am going to get them ridiculous results. You know that, so there's nothing to be scared about because like, if they don't sign up with you, then it's like, whatever. But if they do, then you, you know, you're so confident because you, you know your service is the best in the world, right? So if you're not confident, and it's just because you're nervous, it's because it's your first couple sales calls maybe, or maybe it's a big client and you're just nervous, that's gonna naturally result in not seeming confident. So as I say, they're gonna question themselves. They're gonna be like, why is this person conf not confident? Why is he nervous? Why is he shaking? Why, or why is he stuttering over his words? Or whatever it is, you're gonna be seen as you're hiding something. They're gonna feel as though you're hiding something. And whether they consciously know that, you know, whether they consciously say to themselves, this person's hiding something. Whether it be consciously or subconsciously, they just, this you know, they may be feeling as though there's just something about you that they're not quite, that they don't quite like, they're not quite sure on. And it's because you're not confident. Conversely, if you go into the sales meeting and you're just like, look, X, Y, and Z, this is it, this is what we do. Obviously, I know that probably came off quite weird, like you don't wanna be um, just like over aggressive and whatnot, you don't wanna be like that, but you guys get what I mean, like you wanna be confident, like, Look, this is what we do, this is how we structure things, and this is how much we charge, kind of thing, right? If you implement it like that, and it's, you know, at the end as well, you show them that you can walk away. Like, you show them that, like, look, this is it. Are you happy with, are you happy to move forward? If you are, perfect, let's do it. If you're not, no worries at all. I wish you the best of luck in your business, and leave. If they can sense that type of a confidence, they can sense that, like, you genuinely don't care about their retainer. Even if you do, even if you do, if they feel as though you don't, it's naturally going to pull them towards you even more. You know, it's the whole thing of people want what they can't get, okay? Even though they can get you, 
it still follows the same sort of principle with relationships, for example. You know, if you're a guy and you're trying to go after a girl and they're just not that interested, so then you're like, cool, no worries at all, you leave them, you go and get another girl, that girl that you tried to go after initially will now come back to you. I can guarantee you it because they know that you're with this other person and they can't get you now. So they want you even more, right? Bit of a weird side tangent. But the prin same principles apply in, in, you know, in building your SMMA, in sales within SMMA. If you're just ridiculously confident and you come across as though like, you know, again, the reason why I say come across is because, even, you know, you may genuinely really want the client. I mean, there's multiple sales calls that I get on. Well, I mean, I don't get on a sales call without wanting to get, to get the client at the end of it anyway. Um, so like, you'll want the client, but just don't come across in the way that you do want them because then they're gonna feel as though they can play you around. They're gonna feel as though they have the power. Whereas if you state your price, this is it, this is how we work, this is where communication's held, X, Y, and Z, and that's gonna have a positive effect because they're gonna feel as though they can't get you somewhat, which is naturally gonna pull them closer to you, okay? And the way that you go about that is just to be confident. Really guys, if at the end of the day you gotta put on, on a facade, then do it, you know what I mean? Because I know when I was starting out, um, well, when I was starting out, I didn't have somebody like this to tell me exactly what to do, but, I kind of realized after my first couple of sales calls, I realized that I cannot show any sign of quote unquote weakness or, you know, scared. I can't show that I'm nervous or scared or whatever it was. So I had to just put on this whole facade that like I was like a multi millionaire agency owner and I didn't even care about their. $3,000 per month service fee, even though that was so much to me at the time and I really wanted it, I had to act. I knew that if I showed them that I need them, they're not gonna have the same kind of respect for me and they're probably gonna go the opposite way. They're probably gonna leave. Whereas if I show them that I don't need them, that I don't care about their money, then they're naturally gonna have the opposite effect. They're gonna want me more. So that's number one. That's the first kind of quote unquote secret, if you like, to building a six-figure agency is to, especially, this is more when you're starting because as you start to grow in your agency, you genuinely become more confident and you genuinely start to not need them. So that's easy at that point because it's, you're just being truthful. Like, I genuinely don't need you. However, when you're starting, you know, for the most part, you need that, or not that you need them to survive, you know, you don't need them, but you really, really want them. As I say, at that point, you know, just be confident and I know Trust me guys, I know it's easier said than done, but just try and act, okay? That's the biggest thing, try and act and just tell yourself that you're confident, tell yourself that you don't need them and that's naturally gonna flow out of you in the meeting. Now the second secret to uh, building a 10K per month e-com agency, and this is why I said this video's tailored around e-com specifically, is because of this second point, and that is to leverage ROAS deals as much as you possibly can. ROAS deals are so underrated, okay? Not many people do them. And something that I've massively, massively realized, more so recently, is that it never, ever hurts to chuck on a ROAS deal on top of your price. Honestly, it never hurts. Obviously, you don't wanna be doing like 25% ROAS. Obviously, if you were to do that, you must lower your service fee. But guys, for the most part, like if you charge say two and a half thousand per month, right? You're just starting out, you're on the lower retainers and your average retainers around two and a half thousand. I can almost guarantee you that if you charge two and a half thousand per month, right? You're on a sales call and you say to them, it's two and a half thousand per month. If they're gonna go ahead with that, if that you know, if they're going, yep, that's perfectly fine. Let's move forward with two and a half thousand. If they're going to go ahead with two and a half thousand, ninety to ninety-five percent of the time, they will go ahead with two and a half thousand plus ten percent ROAS. I can almost guarantee it. Again, this is only from personal experience. This entire channel is based on my personal experience. Like I go through these testing, I test all this different stuff, I learn this different stuff, and I relate to you guys. So you guys don't need to go through the loss. You guys don't need to lose your money or waste your time because I've done it for you. You guys can action on what works best. For those of you in the program, you guys have everything from outreach, sales, service delivery, team building, foundations, business operations, everything for an e-commerce agency, that's the best stuff in the industry. So you guys can just action on the best stuff. You don't need to waste your time, you know, um, going for like through an entire year or so 
learning and testing all this different stuff. You go into the program, watch through the content in the program, and you have the best stuff to action on, right? You, basically, all that's gonna do is fast track your way to success, right? What would take you a year to do would take you a month to three months to do. And so back to my original point, from my experience, 90 to 95% of the time, if you say your retainer, and then you add on a reasonable ROAS percentage on top, 90 to 95% of the time, they are going to go ahead with it anyway, because if they're gonna go with the original, I mean, 10% of ROAS doesn't have an effect on them instantly. It doesn't have an effect on them because they only pay that 10% of ROAS once you've brought in a ridiculous amount of results, right? Once you've provided them with results, that's when they pay that um, percentage. And so the reason though I say this is a second kind of quote unquote secret or tip to 10K per month with your e-com agency is because for the most part, that small 10%, that small 15% or even like seven, eight percent of ROAS, it seems insignificant. But for the most part, again, as long as your service delivery is down packed and you've got a good, you know, time and time again, you get amazing results for all of your clients, that percentage will equate to more than your original retainer. So by just chucking that on from face value, it's like, oh yeah, we'll do that. You know, two, two and a half thousand flat fee plus 10%. I mean, I'll only pay that 10% once you've gotten my results anyway, that's perfectly fine. But if your service is, you know, top notch and you can actually consistently get amazing results for your clients, that 10%, 15%, whatever it is, will actually equate to more than your retainer. Because so, I mean, if we're looking at it logically, logistically, and sort of in real life, you guys know I'm very practical on this channel. If you've got a two and a half thousand per month retainer, then, you know, if you've got two and a half thousand per month retainer and you've got a 10% ROAS deal in place, ROAS is obviously um, based off of the purchase conversion value minus the ad cost. So if you spent $20,000 and you've brought back in $60,000, you know, you go 60,000 minus 20,000, you've got 40,000 left. If you've got 10% ROAS deal in place, and bear in mind guys, these are very, very average and normal returns to generate your clients, especially for those of you in the program, you guys have got like literally the best e-commerce Facebook ad training. You know, there's people in, you know, these students in the program who are generating above a 10 ROAS for, uh, for clients. So it's, the training's insane. If you're in there, to spend 20,000 and bring back in 60,000 is very, very average. I mean, that's basically the standard, right? So very average numbers, very, very easy to achieve, again, with the Facebook ad training in the in the quantum agency program. So as I say, spend 20, brought in 60, there's a $40,000 difference. If you've got 10% ROAS deal in place, 10% of $40,000 is $4,000. If your flat service fee is $2,500, 4,000 almost doubles your flat service fee. However, because it seems so insignificant from face value, it's like, oh, it's only 10%. For the most part, all clients that you say it to will have that. They'll be like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. So then you go ahead and um, generate them those results and you literally tri could sometimes even triple or more your service. But guys, as I say, it's very, very important tool to use. It's very important to leverage to get to 10K per month from like two clients. As I say, if you've got two, two and a half thousand dollars per month flat fee, plus 4,000 from your average ROAS per month um, because you're generating them really good results because you've been through, say for example, the Quantum Agency um, Service Delivery Week in that program, the Service Delivery Week, you'll be able to generate your clients, you know, that type of, those type of results, like 20,000 spent, 60,000 brought in, arbitrary numbers, but they're the type of the results you'll be able to generate. So as I say, 4,000 plus 2,500, there's 6,500 from one client. So I mean, you get another one of those and you're doing over 10K per month. This is the beauty of e-commerce because there's so many different types of these things that you can leverage that ridiculously increase your cash flow and the results you can generate are ridiculously high. Again, once you've got amazing, um, you know, once you can provide amazing service. For those of you in the program, you guys have got the best e-com training. Okay, Econ Facebook ad training. So really guys, from this video alone, you should be able to see just how easy it is to get to 10K per month with your um, social media marketing agency and how much easier it is to do that in the Econ niche. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will see you in the next video.